Hello everyone, this is Horny Herbert and welcome to episode 21 of the Wigan Athletic Career Mode, the second to last episode in season 2, so end of the season has come up very quickly, it always seems to do when you're in a championship or when you're in League 1, so first things first, if you haven't voted on the poll in the last episode, go and do that now because that will decide if we go ahead and manage Wales manage a different international team or don't do international management at all it's at the end of the last episode go and check it out but before you do that click on the poll in the top right hand corner and vote on this one which is more of a question do you think we will get 100 points and also 100 goals scored by the end of the season only a few games left like i think eight games so vote now and then see if you get your prediction correct or not obviously i'm hoping to do so but do you think i will achieve it now onto the actual episode itself, first up, training injury for Jack Burn, nothing too major, 7 days, I thought it would be worse, luckily we've avoided anything worse than that. And now onto the youth scout, I think this might be the last one in Australia, so we've got to get things done pretty quick here and decide on people's futures, and speaking of deciding on futures, Hugh Hill, that is a cracking potential, but we'll come back to you in a bit mate, we'll come back to you, Owen Clerk, not bad, Harrison Ward, bad. See, you always get one bad one. Max Wright, cracking name, not that good. Alpha Hill, dropping off a bit. Harvey Harrison. As a keeper, we have better, so we're going to reject Harvey Harrison. Taylor Lewis, looking very good. 76 to 94. Hugh Hughes, great name and looking good. Even Cook looking good. Lance Alexander looking good. And Tyler Bell, he just dropped off too much now and it's a no, so... Okay then, right, yeah. Is the final scouting update so we're going to have to decide on all these players and uh, that is going to be very tricky you might have to come back so then after much deliberation and talking to myself I've decided I'm going to sign a few of these people and let a few go so Lance Alexander is a yes we'll sign him up Ewan Cook is a yes we'll sign him up and Hugh Hughes you pretty much knew already he was going to be a yes one because he's called Hugh Hughes and two the guy's called Hugh Hughes what a name Sign him up, Taylor Lewis, that potential is too good to pass up. Alpha Hill is another guy we're going to sign, I mean, to be honest, we're actually signing quite a few here. Max Wright, however, is the first one we're going to reject. Owen Clerk is going to be the second we reject, and Hugh Hill is going to be one we sign. Now, hopefully, hopefully, well, one, great job with our youth programme, I mean, we had to achieve it at one point. But, you know, hopefully, we've got some good players in our youth academy. Let's go and check it out. So here is our youth squad slash youth academy, looking very good at the moment. Quickly go through the new people, Lance, Alexander, not so good, but you know, we've got better centre mids who we can rely on. Ewan Cook come in, looking pretty good as a centre mid, maybe a bit small, but you know, we can work with that. Hugh Hughes, left back, six foot, perfect, good potential as well. Taylor Lewis, one of the better ones we signed, cracking potential. Overall not so good, but with a bit of training he can get up to that high end potential. And then we've got Alpha Hill, who's a right midfielder. You know, looking pretty good as well, happy with that. And Hugh Hill, the striker, good potential. Maybe not as tall, kind of like a Chaplin replacement. Well, there you go, that is a youth academy. And by the way, I'm not going to sign any people up to the main squad like I have been doing, because apparently the May exploit still exists, where if you sign people up in May, they turn out better than they should be. So I'll wait till May, which I think is next month in game. April, May, yes, just done my calculations there. So wait till next month before we make decisions on these guys, but so far, I'm liking our Youth Academy. It's looking very, very good. So these are the games for this episode. Two away games, first against Bristol City, then Fulham, then at home to Huddersfield, a game I have been dreading. Two days later, we play Birmingham away from home, then Norwich at home, followed by a game against Forest, a team that is basically our second team. We sell all our players to fucking Forest, but... Before any of those games, we've got to play the first one against Bristol City. So our first game is against Bristol City, it is at Ashton Gate. I did skip the intro panel, I do apologise for that, I am an idiot. But what you will see from now on at the start of games is me showing the lineups for us and for them. The major changes for us are Jacobs and Acosta in for Massey and Byrne. That is not an enforced change. I'm doing this for the sake of Jacobs scores a lot of goals, so he deserves his chance in the first team. And Acosta can play as a right back. He has been good when he's played. I can't really drop Reese James. So Nathan Byrne is the one who is sacrificed. But they are both on the bench, Massey and Byrne, and probably will make an appearance. 
and the one in force change is White in for Jack Byrne. Now for Bristol City side, 4-4-2, good to play against. Pack in the middle is someone I'm going to look out for. And Engvall up front. I think he scored against us last time and they were dangerous from corners. So, got to look out for this side. Not doing so well in the league, but uh, a very good side in game. Right, easy. Yours, Gilbert. Head it down. Chaplin, good little take. Love, love a little flick. White plate through to Van Bergen. Mitchell Van Bergen cutting back. I'm going to pass it across. Oh, that was almost a beautiful move. Dominic White, good little flick off to Van Bergen though. Shoot from range. Fielding, you little bitch. Good save. Oh, there you go, Jacobs, lad. Here we go. Inside. Oh my god, that, that, that guy is so quick to react. He's giving away the ball and he's like a madman trying to get it back. Grigg. Through to Van Bergen. Maybe a chance now. Maybe a chance now. Hit it across goal. Fielding saves it off the line in the end. Good chance for us there. Gilby plays it back into Jacobs. Just go for a shot, mate. Saved by Fielding. Maybe should have got a goal there. Dan Byrne, that's a good ball forward. Dan Byrne's got to make sure we don't concede from that. Oh, what was that? Why is it not passing to Gilby there? Simple situation for a pass. It doesn't do it. James, I don't know what the fuck you're doing there, mate. Eventually, I think they get a touch on it. I don't know. Van Bergen, that was a tackle, but didn't fall through. Fall through, fall through. How have they still got this ball? This is taking the piece. It's good defended by us. Not really, but we're just stopping him getting the ball in the box like that. What a save by Randolph. What a weird one at that, though. Cross to James. I see Boateng in a lot of space. It's luckily going to get to Boateng as well. Cut it back to Calvert-Lewin. Fresh on the pitch. Just wide of the top of the goal. Good chance. Got to be taking those chances in games like this. It's a very tough game, this. It's not a bad strike. It is just inches away. Costa... And Gilby linking up well to keep that ball in play and potentially set off a counter-attack. If that pass was any better, it would have done. Fucking hell, these passes are dodgy as fuck, but somebody making it through. Don't ask me if I don't know. Boateng. Boateng blocked by Flint. Yeah, Can't get any chances. Last minute of the game now. Ball whipped in. Not sure if anything's going to come from this, but we've got to try. Dan Burn header save by fielding. I think that'll be it for the game now. Nil nil it will finish. At least it's a clean sheet. At least it's a clean sheet. That's all I can say. That game was terrible to play. I can't imagine how bad it was to watch. All I can do is apologise. To be honest, I think that game was a mix of good defending by Bristol City and bad attacking by us because we could have scored a lot more chances, didn't take our chances that well. And in the end, it is a nil-nil draw. It is a clean sheet, which is good, but at this point in the season, we need goals and points. And so far... With games like this, we'll get none of those. And into the next match, it's against Fulham. It's at Craven Cottage. I'm saying that in inverted commas because obviously we know Craven Cottage is on the Thames. And obviously you can see this is not on the Thames. But after that last game, we can get a win and hopefully we can do it against this Fulham side. We're lining up with our typical 4-2-3-1. The only changes from last game are that Calvert-Lewin is starting instead of Chaplin. Didn't have the best of game for Chaplin last time, so maybe Calvert-Lewin can impress, he did when he came on last game and Jack Byrne is back in for White. Fulham side looks like this, a 4-3-3 I think, they got you know, a good solid back four CC McDonald and Johansson in the middle, Font up front, Kamara on the right and Caberno on the left them are the people we have to look out for, them will be dangerous players this CC guy by the way is running the fucking show and it's taking the piss, fuck you bitch Boateng now, Calvert-Lewin on the overlap, not really, back to Boateng now, it's a cracking ball forward from Calvert-Lewin, good first touch from Boateng is in the box now, shot, straight to the keeper, Jacobs, and again, Bettinelli off the bar, oh my god, how have we not scored, how have we not scored? Back in, Calvert-Lewin, Grigg, off to Byrne, they're all backing off him! They're all backing off him. What a way to open the scoring in this episode. Not just this game, in this episode. Jack Byrne. They were backing off you, mate. I was thinking I'm going to pass it forward and go for it. But I thought, do you know what? Fuck it. They're backing off. We'll shoot. And they are regretting their decision now. Good passing from us. You're keeping the ball. And they all backed off, I thought. Why not hit it? And what a strike by Jack Byrne. Contender for goal of the month already with that. I mean, they're sponsored by Pez. They're going to obviously play shit. Brilliant goal. What way to open a scoring in what has been an awful match.
Should have done it before when we hit the crossbow. We've done it now through Jack Byrne. 1-0 to us. Get in there. What a strike Jack Byrne. First goal as well. What a way to fuck his score in the championship. Brilliant. Acosta, you've got to watch that. It happened the first turf. It's doing again the second turf, mate. It's like... Wow, really? He was attacking all the first turf at Cabern and we had him under control. We had him under control. I did say before the game that this guy would be a pain in the ears. That cameraman, by the way, what the fuck is he doing in the background? He's holding his camera above his head, not even taking a picture. That guy on his own at the back. But how we didn't get this ball off him, I have no idea. Acosta, like, was fighting him all the way. It's a good finish, don't get me wrong. Right foot finesse shot from outside the box. I mean, yeah. Two cracking goals in this game. Randolph kind of I took two steps back before diving for that one. Weird. But yeah, 1-1. One, one. Shit. Chaplin, maybe you can do something this game. Who knows? calvert Levin, good footwork. Chaplin running through. Off again to Massey. Try again, mate. There you go. Massey, finesse shot. In the back of the net. 2-1. Very fortunate goal that, I am not going to lie. In what has been a... I don't know, a shit game, really. I'm trying to think of a better word to describe it other than shit. These last two games actually have been pretty shit. This one's got goals in it, though, so that's something, but less highlights. I don't know how that's worked out, but good ball through. The Chaplin got very unlucky his pass didn't make it. It came back to him, though. Good ball through to Massey. Massey and Chaplin on. Massey for Jacobs, Chaplin for Grigg. Calvert Lewin's gone up front. Chaplin dropped back to the centre forward kind of role, and it's worked out in the end. 2-1, let's keep this lead now and not concede a goal. That's a penalty. Why is that not a penalty? That should have been a penalty to them. We've got away with something here. We have got away with something here. Christ, we might be on goal now. Swear to goal. You know it, bitches. 3-1. That is, um... That is bullshit. We should not have that goal. If anything, they should have a penalty. Dan Byrne took somebody out in the box. And I just stopped playing and thought I was... Well, I didn't stop playing. I just thought, here we go, penalty. The referee kind of pointed his arms out to, like, give play on kind of thing, like, advantage. But I thought, you know, when we got the ball back, he would give the penalty. Didn't give the penalty. We carried on. Up the other end. They had no defenders. And we get a goal. Wrong counter-attacking. Obviously, it worked. 3-1. And uh, we've been given a massive bit of fortune right there. Out to Acosta. Need a chance for another goal here at the end. Who knows? We need the goals. I want the uh, goal difference thing. Chaplin is on side. Don't you worry about that, mate. Don't you worry about that. Chaplin off the burr. Could have been four. Maybe should have been four. Should have really finished that chance. And from a game that has had a very controversial moment, that was a penalty for them. No doubt about it. Dan Byrne, it would have been a cheap penalty, but in the game, that should be a penalty. It didn't get given. We went to the other end. Straight away and got the goal through Massey. Well, through Massey's free ball to Boateng. 3-1 win. Maybe should have scored in the end to make it 4-1, but a very fortunate win that. Very fortunate indeed. So in front of goal, we are not doing as well as we should. If we actually look back at our goals, it was a Jack Byrne stunner, a lucky pass through to Massey that did end up in a goal, and a counter-attack from a obvious penalty to them. So, you know, in front of goal, we are getting a bit lucky at the moment. Riding our luck at times, but that is what champions do. Ride their luck, get results when they really shouldn't, and that's what we've done today. Happy with the result, and uh, yeah, I can't really say anything else. We got lucky that game, very, very lucky. And now for the game I was dreading. Us versus Huddersfield, we're at home for this one. Last game we got dominated by Huddersfield, hopefully this time around. We're in a better bit of form than we were last time, and we're in a better position in the table. Hopefully that will correlate to a good result. And here is our team for this game. We've got Calvert-Lewin and Chaplin playing this one. Grigg has been a bit dodgy the last few games. Massey in for Jacobs, for some reason Jacobs is better off the bench. Van Bergen back in, I did put Boateng in last game, did forget to mention it. And the rest of the team stays the same. Huddersfield, they got De Patra up front, Payne behind him. Kuchunga on the right, I can't really see the midfield too, but I cannot see Aaron Moy in there. Hefe at the back in Jorgensen, or Jorgensen. Rob Green in goal, maybe that's a weak point. Scott Malone and Smith are good though, but it's going to be a difficult match versus a former Premier League side. Beautiful play at the moment. Chaplin off to Calvert. Lewin hit it. Off the post. Good stir. And I thought that was going in. I honestly thought that was going in. Well, the layoff from Chaplin. The strike. That is inches wide. 
millimetres maybe, I don't know, very close from the start, good, very good start from us, very good, good, very good, 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 did I say it was good? Van Bergen, good bit of play there, the man cut across him, wasn't expecting that, back to Massey having a good few games, as you can see, oh, just wide of the post, two chances now, really should have been one goal from them, see it again here, just hits it across goal, it's not Jacobs is it? With his finishing, he's not as good as Jacobs, but with his overall play, he's much quicker and much better on the ball than Jacobs is. Chaplin inside to Jack Byrne, the guy with the wonder strike. Good ball in. Calvert-Lewin. Go for a shot again, blocked straight to Mitchell Van Bergen, who got good feet. Very good feet. Rob Green. Oh, come on. We have not got this goal. Calvert-Lewin gets a foot on that. That's 1-0. Costa to Jack Byrne. See Dan Byrne making his way back. Van Bergen. A lovely little frick. Frick. Flick through to James. Whip it in. Not the best ball. Gilby arriving. And he's scoring as well. Gilby. What a finish by Alex Gilby. That was just the most awkward shot. Go and celebrate on the advertising board. Brilliant goal from Alex Gilby. We have been knocking on the door though to be fair. I think maybe five or six chances. Not shown all of them. But definitely shown quite a few. And we finally get the breakthrough. Good ball in, I think, in the end. Obviously, you see Chaplin doing a mad little dive with it. I thought the defender would get it. Oh, wow, what a finish. Must have took a deflection. On the edge of the box, he shoots. Did it actually take a deflection? I don't know, because that defender did a weird block. Didn't get it, and uh, Gilby gets a goal. The man is fantastic. Alex Gilby and Byrne in the middle are amazing. Jack Byrne can score wonder goals. Alex Gilby, I think all his goals have been fantastic. And that is his sixth one in the championship, and it's another good goal, and it's 1-0 to us. Massey, there you go, there we go, there we go, there we go, cross goal, 2-0. I was not confident that was going in. Oh, honestly, Huddersfield, since we scored our goal, nothing has happened. They went attacking, didn't have any shots on goal though, just kept it outside our box, passing it around. Then when we won it back, they tackled us immediately. We had chances like this, half chances, nothing major. But we'll finally get a good ball through. Matty gets a shot. This time around, he does score it. Early on in the game, very similar chance. Went wide. Makes it 2-0. Should be game now. Just got to go defensive. Go counter sacking. Maybe get one or two more goals on the break. But the main thing is, do not concede. Good goal by Massey. And better than Jacob so far this episode. Line go over the top to Massey. It's going to be a foot race. Massey should win it. On the lawn, been getting there all day. There you go, 2 0 win. So, in three games, that's two clean sheets. And the one goal we have conceded was a good goal by the Fulham player, Kikano, was it? I can't remember. But, good game from us. Nathan Byrne came on at the end, did well. So did Lang actually saying that. Good performance, good 2 0 win against a Huddersfield side that didn't show up for the first half an hour. After that, they showed up and the game got a lot more tense. And would you look at that? I said before that they have not really been troubling our goal, but they had no shots on target, no shots at all. So, very quiet game for Randolph. I think he touched the ball once. We passed it back to him, he passed it forward. Very quiet game for him. Probably don't even need to wash his fucking kit. Brilliant from us. That is the kind of performance I want against big clubs. And we did it today, executed it well. It's a 2 0 win. Brilliant. And here we go, the next game versus Birmingham at St Andrews. Going to be a interesting game, this one. Only conceded one goal in our last three, so defensively looking good. Only scored five, though, in our last three, which is a bit rare from us. Not firing on all cylinders, but let's see what we'll do against this Birmingham side with our rotated squad. So we've got Grigg back in, Lang playing just behind him, Boateng and Jacobs on the wings. Gilbert and Byrne stay in the middle. Daniels comes in for the tired Dunkley and Byrne comes in for the tired Acosta. But Byrne last game played well at left wing. Let's see how he'll feel back at right back. As for them, we've got Adams and Jutkovic up front. Che Adams, good player, good on FIFA. Dean at the back is someone I have to look out for. Pelletiero on the right could be good. And Stockdale in goal will be a problem. But hopefully we can get the job done. Inside. Lang, oh wow, what a flick. Off the post after a great bit of movement from Callum Lang. Similar to the last game, a cracking start and Callum Lang, how unfortunate not to get a goal from that. That was beautiful play. 
Jack Byrne, play it to Gilby, don't lose out, don't lose out. Back to Byrne, don't lose out. Lang, oh, I love a bit of play from Callum Lang. A bullet came past at the same time, so if you heard the microphone vibrate, that is not my fault. What a fucking time for that fucking bus. But Callum Lang, honestly, he's in a massive bit of form at the moment. In the last game, played really well, him and Byrne. And this game, he had that chance at the start after a good bit of passing between him and Grigg. He did the same again not long after, wasn't highlight worthy, but this time around, he actually gets around his man, gets a shot off, and it's in the back of the net. Callum Lang, brilliant, just brilliant. Outshining Grigg at the moment by a long, long way. And Grigg has been in good form before this episode, so, you know, fair play to you, Lang, fair play. 1 0 to us, what a goal by Callum Lang, 63 overall, brilliant. They keep doing these long balls over the top, and after a while, it is going to fucking work out for him. I say after a while, maybe no, with some lack defending by Reese James. Daniels just stand there, burnt, good block, it's fell to him, and they've got a goal. Fortunate, fortunate goal for them. More in the way of the ball deflected, I think Randolph didn't really cover himself in glory there either. Straight from kickoff, and it's like the kickoff glitch, pretty much. That does exist massively online, by the way. Any type of online game you play, the kickoff glitch is mad. It is so mad. But you see, they're just doing that left, well, that right side, uh, left, not defending well. Jack Burns slides in here, actually deflects the ball to him. And Randall, what is that? Save me. Gilby doesn't get a block on it, which he should do, to be honest. And Randolph just dives with his hands close to his chest, pretty much. Not outstretched at all. Game's back on level terms, and it's going to be a. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of something like it's going to be a difficult task, but it's very early, early in the game still. We can get something done. I had a weird stroke then, I don't know. Uh, brilliant. Lang, good ball off to Jacobs. Cutting inside and shooting. I mean, yes, I'm happy I scored, but... I was going to say shooting a cross goal and hit it straight at the keeper, so I stopped talking thinking, you fucked it up, this won't be a highlight, and somehow, it's gone in. How the fuck has that gone in? I, I, what? Don't celebrate like that, it was a shit goal, you got fucking lucky as fuck, mate. How? How have we got in front of this game? I don't know, not for a goal like that. It was Langy passing the ball though, so that's, that's something, but yeah, I don't know. Keeper just was shite then. Oh, Sadiba. Gilby. Lang. Back to Gilby. Fuck it, why not? Oh, it's brilliant. The keeper has been utterly shocking. For some reason, they've updated the keepers in the latest update. I think it was 1.07, if I'm not mistaken. Please celebrate, Gilby. Thank you very much. It's like they've changed some things about goalkeepers, and since then, Randolph's done a save where he's not put his arms out, and their keeper's now done two awful saves. Stockdale, shake your fucking head, mate, and just hang your head in shame, because before the game, I thought you'd be good. You've been anything but good. Gilbert with a strike. It is a good strike, don't get me wrong. I can feel was in the way, did duck last minute. Maybe that affected the keeper, who knows? I'm glad he ducked, though, because that was took his head off. But what is that save? If he stretches his arms out, he gets that. It's Dodger keeping all around here at the um, at St Andrews, and keepers are not helping themselves out here. But good goals, and once again, Gilby, if he scores a goal, he scores a good one. Well played. Down this side every time, no man. Are you serious? Are you serious, Dan? I know you're Superman, but don't do a Superman dive when you're defending. You dick. And for, again, why they're in finesse shots? They put power on that, that will go in. Really dodgy. Oh, what is that from Colin? Bulleting. Oh, never mind, game's over. That ball still hasn't come down yet, by the way. That is just gone. 3-1 win, and why am I player celebrating like this? Have we won the league? Have we got promotion? I think we've got ourselves promotion. I think we actually got ourselves promotion. It was kind of a dead set thing. There were 15 points left available. We were 12 points clear of the team in second. So that means we've only 12 points left to go. Our goal difference looking as it is. We are celebrating. I think we have definitely got promotion, but have we won the league as well? I don't know. 
it's definitely a promotion without a doubt because they're celebrating like Ursals, maybe the league as well, who knows. But there you go, a 3 1 win and a good performance from that guy, Callum Lang. Great performance from the lads today, especially Callum Lang. Fantastic game from him. Osidibe and Gilby, other standout performers. Bobby Ting and Jacobs out on the left and right played well defensively. James and Byrne were cracking. Dan Byrne and Daniels did a job. Daniels got dominated a bit by Che Adams, but I think that's more Che Adams being overpowered than Daniels being bad. But all in all, good game. Shemi conceded a goal, but three goals scored, three points, and automatic promotion sealed. I think. I hope. And there you go, people. We have been crowned champions of the championship. So my players weren't celebrating automatic promotion, they were celebrating winning the actual championship. It's been a good season so far. We've not finished yet. We still want 100 goals and 100 points. That is our second target now. First one was to get promotion. We got it. Now 100 goals and 100 points. But all in all, fantastic season. The side that got promoted from League One last season. We won that one. We've won this one. Who knows? If run we're wrong, we might even win the Premiership. And we changed sliders halfway through the season. It made it a lot harder. And maybe next season in the Premier League with the sliders we have, we will struggle. And I'm expecting it unless we make a lot of good signings. But I don't think we'll get that much money. But for now, enjoy the moment. We are champions of the Championship. And uh, yeah, that little card there with my name on is very apt. King, two right bitches, two right. And following winning the championship, we go and play Norwich at home for this one. So after this game, we will hopefully lift the trophy. And uh, yeah, feeling good for this one. Our last few games have been good. Let's keep the goal scoring going and get the wins flowing. And here's our team for this match. Calvert-Lewin is playing instead of Grigg up front. We've got Burke at right back, Acosta at left back. So that means Reese James has dropped to the reserves because he is knackered and the man deserves a break. The rest is the same. Jacob's getting a chance again, even though Massey has been better. Norwich's side looks like this. Pritchard on the left, Watkins on the right. Very similar formation to us. Tete in midfield is going to be a person we look out for, as is Pinto at right back. And Oliver up front can do some damage. Naismith behind him, getting a bit older now, but still has that potential to score a goal. Hopefully he won't. Good play from also. Chaplin, good layoff to Byrne. Van Bergen, get on your bike, mate. Get on your bike, Van Bergen. He's going to get there as well. Mitchell, Van Bergen, get around the defender and shoot. Saved by Gunn. Jacobs is there. Looping header over the keeper. 1-0. This is a perfect start for us. The first chance of the match. Falls to Van Bergen, really. Chaplin, though, gets the... Uh, sorry, not Chaplin. Jacobs gets the uh, rebound. Nobody celebrated with him then, that was kind of a disappointing, but good shot from Van Bergen. Keeper should have done better, really, and he should have done better from that as well. Good header from Jacobs, looping over the defender, uh, the keeper, sorry. Maybe took a deflection off the defender, though, but I'll take it. 1-0, and a uh, good start for us. Who is this Watkins cunt? He's a booking G, this Watkins guy. And the referees give him a free kick. Not sure why. They had a shot that just went wide. Watkins has made this chance because that man is a G. His footwork is on par with Van Bergen's. Free kick, no. Okay, then. You don't save them ones. I'm a bit... Mm, about the free kick. I can't really see why it was given, but... If you've got people like Pritchard who can do shit like that, that is how you get free kicks. Fans obviously disappointed. I don't blame them. The wall jumped as well, it's just a shame that it went past Gilby. What a finish, it hit the fucking crossbar and bounced off the ground and went back into the top of the net. We have a tall wall as well though. Brilliant free kick from Pritchard. Maybe it shouldn't have been a free kick, but in the end it doesn't matter because that is a fantastic finish. 12 goals for him now and with free kicks like that, I can imagine why. Van Bergen waiting for the run of Acosta, there it is, good ball, good play, good movement. And pass it across. There it is. Calvert-Lewin 2-1. Brilliant, brilliant player from Acosta. Playing at his natural position of left back. And he gets the assist. Lovely play all around from the team though. I think I think that actually started from the keeper. I actually do think it did. But Acosta, I thought, I'm not going to cross it. I'll play it across goal. Keeper did a mad fucking flying squirrel save. And the squirrel went the wrong way. 2-1 to us. Good goal from Calvert-Lewin. But it's all about the assist from Acosta.
Now that is a free kick, and you've called it correctly. That should be a yellow card. I'm not going to call. Oh, Pritchard though. Fuck. I forgot. They scored their first goal for a free kick. He's going to try again. Hit the post this time. And clear that shit. Get the fuck out. You fucking mad bastard Pritchard. Let's not give him any more free kicks. Let's not do that. That is bad. Bad decision making from us. Turn too easily though. Offside is he? Naismith? He's not offside. That's a foul on Jacobs. Referee's not calling it. That's a foul. What? Oh, how? Why did you not go for the ball? Pritchard standing over this one. Will he fucking try and score this one? Or is he actually going to cross it? He's actually crossed it this time. Not a bad ball in. Get it clear, get it clear, get it clear. Almost a goal. Every time Pritchard gets on the ball with a free kick, it looks like they're going to score. It is just unbelievable how one we didn't get the fucking block off. That is not fair from going in. Shit me. Pressure is still here against Norwich. Whipping the ball in. It's a good ball in. Dunkley get there. And it's in the back of the net. Finally we get a good corner in. We've had chances all from really set piece ish situations I would say. Well definitely for them anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about. But good ball in. Good header by Dunkley. There's no marking on him. And he gets the finish in the end. Teddy jumping behind him. I think it was uh, Martin whatever his name is. The winger. I actually can't remember his name. But 3-1. Game's looking good now. Let's try and get more goals and not concede anymore. Don't give away free kicks, we'll be fine. Okay, the good passing here. Watkins has been a pain in the earth all game. And that is a good free ball. And Pritchard's put it wide. Wow, that should have been 3-2. Good player from them. And Pritchard, the guy you expect to score, has put it wide. Oh, wow, offside. Surely Watkins... Saved by Randolph, cracking save. Surely he was offside though. Costa throws it to Nathan Byrne. On at left mid. Ball into Calvin Lewin. Nathan Byrne, you've literally just come on from the bench. And your first involvement in the game is to whip in a beautiful cross of Calvert Lewin, who's now playing deeper because Akinfem was on the pitch. And what a finish that was. Cracking Eddie gets across his man, heads it down, keeper dives back in his own net from his own post. You know, he's a magician, he can do that. That post is actually made out of a polystyrene, so very easy to dive through. Don't know how he put it back together. But 4 1, Cabot with the goal, and it's uh, looking good for us now. It, only three goals for him. Bit disappointing, I think he scored more in Europa League, to be honest. But 4 1, games are good. I can then win that flick on. Oh, you fucking won it, but he got it the wrong way. Never mind. 4 1 win, and now it is time for the celebrations. Celebrations? Wow, my voice went weird then, didn't it? Didn't it, boys? Very weird, I don't know. Would have been better if we didn't concede, but... To be honest, if you're going to score a goal in a game where the trophy's going to get lifted, Pritchard, what a way to put yourself on the map, because you do that. I mean, he's already on the map anyway, people know who Pritchard is, but... You score that goal, this game might be televised in the future, who knows? You know, down the line, Pritchard scored the only goal against Wigan in this game. Don't know why I'm talking like an old-timey fucking commentator, but I don't know. Things are crazy. And Dan Byrne will lift the trophy. He deserves it, Dan Byrne. Been a solid presence this season. Maybe not been perfect throughout, but, you know, he deserved it. He's done well. And uh, he now will lift the trophy eventually. Fucking hell, how many plays we got? I don't think we have that many plays in our fucking squad, but anyway... Here he is, Dan Byrne, lifting the championship trophy. It's ours. Beautiful. Four goals as well for this match. The trophy looks absolutely shit on the bottom and just in general. But do you know what? We'll take it. More silverware for us. Not very good in competitions this year like the Cup, Europa League out, FA Cup out, Carabao Cup. I don't think we even started, to be honest. That's how bad we were. But it's all worth it for this. Championship winners, Wigan Athletic. And you carry that trophy, Dan. You carry that trophy. I mean, to be honest, of all people to lift it and to get other people to see it, you should be the one doing it. Yeah, they get a bit boring celebrations, don't they? They're nothing really amazing. Yeah, let's skip it. It's a good way as well to actually lift the trophy with a game like that. 4-1 winners in the end, conceding a brilliant free kick from Pritchard. Every time he stood over the ball with a free kick, it looked like they were going to score. That's how good he was, and... It took me a bit too long to realise not to give away free kicks. But it's a 4 1 win. Four goals added to our tally. Three points added to our tally. Those 100 goals and 100 points might still be achievable yet.
And now for the last game of the episode versus Nottingham Forest, and I've made a small, small mistake, and I'll address it. No. The mistake is I haven't rotated any players around. This is an original starting 11, and this is what it has stayed as. So, in other words, the people who played last game who are tired are still playing this game, which is not good for us, and also a bench isn't going to be perfect either. But that is our team for it. Greg is back in, I suppose. Other than that, no real changes. And here is their team. Dariqua at right back is good. Zach Clough playing just behind Velios is a good player as well. Ariebe is a very good right winger. And yeah, it looks like a very hard team to break down. I can't see any of our players in there. Which is surprising considering we sold quite a few to them. But anyway, they might be on the bench. They might come on and fuck us over later on. Chaplin, aim to green. Not in the best of games. And wow. That was mental. He got taken out. Now, can we do a Pritchard? Can we do a Pritchard? I mean, the other keeper's a midget. Do you know what? I'm going to fucking go for this. I'm going to go for a power shot and just fucking hit it. I hit the post. You couldn't see it, but you can definitely hear it. I hit the post. If that went a bit more to the right, that probably would have gone in. Or the keeper would have, probably would have saved it. Never mind. Good chance for us at the start, though, after Greg got absolutely munched. Burn across to Gilbert. Space out for a cost, a lot of space. Inside to Chaplin, turn your man beautifully, shoot as well. Smith with the save. Cornerball now, it has been such an infuriating match. Oh, Dan Burns making it not much better. Run forward, Gilby, mate. I do like you, but come on. Take some initiative. There you go, good ball, massive. Been a fucking very good player for us this second half. Since you obviously only come on in the second half. Can you get a bit good ball in, though? Calvert Lewin is the shot in the back of the net. Fucking look it as fuck. This has been a awful match. I thought the Bristol City and fucking Fulham games were bad. This takes it. That's what happens when you don't fucking sort your teammate before a game because you skip through like a fucking idiot. But Massey, Calvert Lewin, and Boateng, all come in the second half, have been amazing. It's an interesting ball in from Massey, but it gets a goal in the end. It just creeps over the line. It's a good strike, it's very weird. Keeper does make a very good save. It's just unfortunate that the power takes it through and the fact he blocks off his own defender. And Massey's punching that guy in the face. Very interesting goal all around there. 1 0 to us. Calvert Lewin gets it with an assist from Gavin Massey and the keeper. One Calvert Lewin, good block, good tackle, whatever you want to call it. Boateng inside to Calvert Lewin there. Doing well with your feet. Shoot. Calvert Lewin. Calvert fucking Lewin. You are fucking single handedly carrying this team towards that 100 goal mark. Go and celebrate with the fans. No, celebrate with the fans, mate. Do the slide. Do the slide. He won the ball back. We got it forward eventually to him and took the shot on and got the goal. I think we need like seven goals. Before this game, we needed seven goals and six points in our final three games. We've got two so far. That means five goals in our next two games. It is still achievable. Where we've been scoring goals at the moment, it can happen. At the points, I'm pretty confident we can get six. Just two wins from our last three games. But Calvert Lewin, if you keep going like you are, mate, you'll get a hat trick, you'll get the match ball, and also get us closer to that 100 goal target. Come on, keep going, keep scoring. I mean, I would rather it go out. I would rather it go out. Oh, that's offside, surely. Good save by Randolph. That one must have been offside. The first chance of the game properly, and I'm sure it was offside. What was that pass? Calvert-Lewin could be in. Oh, Calvert-Lewin. Chaplin, Calvert-Lewin. Get past his man. Go on, Calvert-Lewin. Fuck you, Smith. I aim for the right-hand side of the goal. The fucking game maybe put it down the middle. Right, ball in. Keep it up, come for it. Calvert-Lewin, get the head on it. Saved by Smith again. You are just such a cunt. Dan Burns going to get that. Laid off to Boateng. Shoot from range. Straight at Smith. Was a free kick, though, but the referee's not give it. I'm only going to get two. Only getting two goals from this match. Should be more. Should really be more. Stop celebrating with what he won the fucking trophy. Because stop celebrating like dickheads every time. I'm annoyed because we're going to get more goals. Good win. Solid 2-0 win. But I would like more goals. Disappointed we didn't get them. And here are the stats from this final game of the episode. It is a 2-0 win. It is mainly down to Calvert-Lewin and Gavin Massey. Chaplin was absolutely fucked after the 70th minute. Last 20 minutes. I don't know how he kept running, I really don't, but we get the two goals, which is not as much as I would wanted, but now it means in our last two games we need three points and five goals. 
bit of a task, bit of a challenge, but on our current run of form, if it correlates over to the next episode, we should get the job done. But I'm saying should, it's FIFA, anything can happen. And here is a look at the table, as you can see we have well and truly walked it. Only 5 goals we need now and 3 points to get 100-100, but games against Middlesbrough and Ipswich are to come, so very difficult matches there, especially in Middlesbrough. Watford, Sunderland and Brighton fighting for that second place. I think Sunderland might get it in the end, but really, Watford have been good recently. It's between them two, I don't think Brighton really have a chance. Brentford have guaranteed playoff places, and Middlesbrough, with that game in hand, should be able to keep away from Norwich, Birmingham, and also Reading, who do have a game in hand, and you've seen that, even Preston. They can get there as well, so maybe not as easy for Middlesbrough, but it all depends on what Preston and all of them do. And then down at the bottom, you can see Wimbledon have definitely been relegated. It's either going to be, in my eyes, Millwall, Bristol City, or Fulham who join them. And it has to be a massive performance from Bristol City to get the points they need. Same for Millwall. Fulham, they win their game at hand. They are safe. So, it'll be a tough battle down there. Bristol City, Millwall maybe left it a bit too late. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Huddersfield slipping down there in 16th. Not good to see from them, but... When we played them the second time round, they weren't that good. But that is it for the table. And now it's time for Player of the Month, or should I say Players of the Month, because it's going to be a double award. First, it's going to Gilby. He's had such a good few games, popping up with goals every now and then, just defending very well, keeping the ball, being composed on the ball, and getting the ball forward. Gilby is that perfect CDM type of player, who can also get forward and bang in a few goals, like a Fabregas kind of player. And also getting the player of the month is this man, Shea Dunkley. Gilby's job has been a lot easier because of this guy. If it gets past Gilby, this guy fucking mops up. Got a goal as well and just defended so well, got across, blocked shots, blocked everything. And for his overall, honestly, it just does not correlate to how good he actually is. So. Dunkley also gets player of the month, showing it with Gilby and well deserved from both players. And without a doubt, goal of the month will go to Jack Byrne for his wonder goal versus Fulham. It opened the scoring in this episode and what a way to do it as well. Lovely right footed strike, the keeper was always backpedalling to try and save it, no chance for him. And easily deserving of goal of the month and maybe a contender for goal of the season. But well, for now this has been Baxter, thanks for watching and goodbye.